Hi everyone, Noah here with another organization video. This time I'm tackling the playroom. As you can see, it's not that bad, but we did have a few things with no permanent place and you know this is the number one rule in organization. Also, the tent area wasn't giving us a good vibe and Adam stopped playing there, so I wanted to spice things up <laughs> and give it a little bit of a makeover. Our playroom is part of the open space living room and kitchen, so it's very important to us, it will be easy to organize and clean up, and of course look good with the rest of the living room. We do have a few more places in the house to store toys and books, like in Adam's bedroom of course, and also our TV unit, which you will see in a few moments. But as you can see, all areas needed a bit of a cleanup. So first I decided to take off the toys on the top shelf, because Adam can't reach it anyway, and use it to display art and such, since it's the top shelf, it's also the first thing you see when you enter our place, so I felt like it will create the biggest impact. I had a few frames that I wasn't using, so I thought a little gallery display would be nice. I knew I might need to buy a few more things here and there, and there was an IKEA sale just starting, so I wanted to test out the frames and figure out what I need to get. Another change I made was to move the plant too many times, it was almost knocked over by a child, so it needed to move. So I had a free new space for the plant. We do have a spacious living room, but it's not that big. And when you organize for a small space, you really need to think carefully on what you keep and get for that space. Okay, so I wanted to create a fun and welcoming reading nook. So first I'm taking everything out and cleaning up with my Dyson, which I love. Even found a pacifier here. <laughs> I also trimmed the curtains, I was lazy when we got them, when we moved in, we had a lot of projects in my defense, so I used the iron tape instead of the sewing, and I totally regret that, and I will fix it, but we'll see. Well, I'm setting up the tent on floor level, on the rug, so it will be more comfortable to use, and using the big cushions to make a sitting area. I'll get more pillows in the IKEA sale, you'll see. Time to organize the shelves and all the books and toys, I do have to say that 90% of the books and toys you see here we got second hand from friends, it is quite a lot, and having them spread in different places is actually good for us because then we have different areas to play and, um, and Adam can see them more clearly so it's less overwhelming. Anyway, I moved the books to a different spot, I like to display his books when they are lying front facing and not on the side, I can definitely see that it is easier for him to find what he was looking for or easier for him to choose, so I put here the books that he's too old for or just tired of them so I can rotate them in a few weeks or months. We also have a secret door for small books, so I put all of them together. I'm going to get two little shelves from IKEA to display some books in the reading area, but first let's finish with the toys. I put all the puzzles together, which turned out great, and also I don't have to see the ugly boxes in my living room. I have some containers to organize cars, animals, little people and finger puppets, and I also have special shelf for his art supplies so he can grab them by himself. I moved some toys to the storage under our bed because I like to rotate toys every once in a while. For the kids, it's like playing with something new and they really don't need so many toys anyway, so it's a very good solution for us. I did find a better spot for the dolls in Adam's room and also I did an amazing makeover to the cardboard box. You can watch it on my channel, link down below. I also have a making toys for my kids series, so if you're interested to watch, then try that out. So I'm back from Ikea and I got a sweet deal for these beautiful wave and storage boxes. They are so beautiful and light and Adam is now two and a half years old and Purim, which is the Jewish Halloween, is around the corner, so a costume box is really good investment now. And I like that I have some hidden storage there. I also decided to put all the little wooden bricks and train stuff side by side, so we have two baskets with the same play category, if you will. Okay, so back to my gallery display on the top shelf. I found two simple wooden frames on sale at IKEA 
and also a very cute print for like 30 cents so now I can complete my idea I lay down all my friends and art to figure out what will look best to save money and to be more green I always try to repurpose items that I already have like some of the frames were given to me or were used in a different room but didn't really work there some of the prints I got new uh, but they were on sale <laughs> there is an, a beautiful mess card that my husband got me and I really cherish what he wrote so I kept it for a few years now and also a drawing made by Adam which I love I love to display his art And when I was quite lost and needed something less white, I just took an old piece of fabric I had from a totally different project and used that as an art piece. Okay, I'm giving you a little before and after, but you'll have to wait until I finish everything for the big reveal. Okay, so I got these cute pillows at the sale as well. It's a lot more inviting and comfortable to sit there while the kids are playing. Very good investments for your back. Another big change was these two spice racks I got at IKEA to display some books. We do have a fair amount of books and you know I find the front facing display way more effective. So we made a separate video tutorial for you guys on how to hang these, link down below. And the last project was this amazing IKEA hack I did for the plant, plant pots <laughs> that I also got on the sale, you guys. I was on fire that day at IKEA. I made a separate video tutorial for that too, so find out how I did it, you will have to click on the link in the description box but I will tell you there was baking powder involved what yeah you heard me everything now has its place looking good and practical I didn't do everything in one day as you can see by my wardrobe changing but that is totally okay take your time and don't rush it if you have lots of things to do a little bit here and there makes a big difference as you can see Thank you so much for following along. It will be lovely if you like this video or leave me a comment about which room you would like to see next. And of course, subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!